Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For those who have just joined us now, um, let me begin again. We have the committee in front of us, Justice, Law and Human Rights Committee, and we have our chairman here, Assistant Minister, Honorable Alvin Maharaj, Master Honorable Rohit Sharma, Deputy Chairperson, and Honorable Dr. Salih Govin. Uh, on my right, and my far right is Honorable Moses Ebulitabu. This is not the first time we have visited to Langa Langa Primary School. We have been here a few times, and this Justice Law and Human Rights Committee has always been supported by the community of uh, Langa Langa. Thank you very much. On behalf of the community, uh, the, our committee, I would like to thank the community also for availing yourself in a large number this afternoon. Right, our purpose of coming here is the we have two bills in front of us, which is the heritage bill and which is the investment bill, which we will elaborate to you uh, in a few minutes time. So, एक बार फिर से आप सभी का यहाँ पर आने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद है और बहुत ही खुशी की बात है कि आप सब लोग यहाँ पर आज ज्यादा मात्रा में आए हुए हैं और आपके समक्ष में हम लोग दो स्पेशल बिल जो है ये लेकर आए हुए हैं, ठीक है? और जो है हेरिटेज बिल और जो है इन्वेस्टमेंट बिल तो इन दो बिल के बारे में हम लोग आपके सामने आज बात करेंगे आपसे राय सलाह लेंगे और आप उसके बाद में अपना जो विचार विमर्श जो है अपना जो विचार जो है ये प्रकट कर सकते हैं एवरी थिंग इज रिकॉर्डेड लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्लीज एवरी थिंग इज रिकॉर्डेड सो प्लीज स्पीक सेंसिबली थिंक and do you speak all right you feel free to ask questions right relating to these two bills and at the end of our official program right if you have some other questions we will do take your questions right and officially after the uh, end of the program then we will do take up for your question and answers right but our main two purpose of coming this uh, afternoon is the um, two bills which I have just uh, brought it in front of you now, right? So um, we have a uh, yeah we have mixed um, people here this afternoon, so we will speak in English and Hindi both to you. Right? So. So the heritage bill, we have our director here. Uh, very soon I'll be giving, allowing him to speak to you, right? And let me talk about the objective of uh, these two bills. And if you have any further questions, then surely uh, you'll be given chance to speak, right? So the main objective of um, these two bills uh, uh, of the investment bill and of the um, uh, heritage bill. The heritage bill consists of uh, nine parts, right? And the main objective of this uh, act will be when it is passed by the bill uh, by the parliament. Currently, it's a bill passed by the parliament will be, be an act, and the objective of the act will be to provide for the recognition and management of places having potential and actual world heritage values, establish the council and provide for the functions and powers for safeguarding the integrity of places having potential and actual world heritage values, establish, monitor and manage the Fiji register, provide for the management of places on the Fiji register, provide for individual operating trust funds for places on the Fiji register, implement the World Heritage Convention and provide for matters that are necessary for the administration of this act. Right, and this uh, act binds the state. And after currently, this this bill is with the trust. As soon as it next to a act, it will be under the council. Right, we will explain as I go. And the council will consist of eleven ex of your members and four other members appointed by the minister. Right, the eleven ex. Uh, official members comprises the following the permanent secretary who is the chairperson director of the national trust or his or her representative the director of the fiji museum on his or her representative director of the department of tourism on his or her representative 
Director of Town and Country Planning, or his or her representative. Director responsible for environment, or his or her representative. Director of land, or his or her representative. Director under the ministry responsible for Itokai affairs, or his or her representative. And uh, uh, the manager of the Itokai affairs board, or his or her representative. The manager of the Itokai land trust board, or his or her representative. And the Secretary General of the Fiji National Commission for UNESCO or his or her representative. This is uh, regarding Heritage Bill. Right? And currently, um, we have uh, uh, the UNESCO. Currently, we have the uh, um, World Heritage Site that's only in Lebuka. Right, only in Lebuka. But there are few uh, where the submissions can come from, like uh, Yendua Island. As you all know, Yendua Island is uh, very famous for iguana. Right, and we have visited Yendua Island uh, uh, on uh, Monday, and we have sighted the village. We have sighted the place where the iguanas are, and we have been told that currently there might be about thirty-five to forty thousand iguanas there. Right. And other stuff. And about this, uh, uh, briefly about this investment bill is a very um, uh, small bill, but very important bill, right? And uh, there's a background on this that Fiji became a party to the convention concerning the protection of the world cultural and national uh, heritage, which was adopted at the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, that's UNESCO General Conference in 1972. On November 21st, 1990, 1990, which is Heritage Bill, right? And Fiji, as a state party to the World Heritage Convention, is quite under the World Heritage Convention to adopt legislative and administrative provision to give effect to the World Heritage Convention. Therefore, the Heritage Bill 2021 provides for the domestic application of the World Heritage Convention in Fiji. And there are a lot of clauses which <coughs> I've explained to you the objective of it and the council and the uh, function of the council and uh, also the duties of the secretary the um, chairperson and the registrar the accounts and finance and the management of potential world heritage places etc etc all right so let us all go and uh, let us all go on this bill first which is the heritage bill now i'd like to give this opportunity uh, to our Member Honorable Dr. Salik to explain in uh, uh, him. Thank you. Uh, okay. Since uh, there is a mixed audience here, uh, is there a need to explain this in Hindi or everyone understands English? Can you always say if I could explain in Hindi? Huh? Hindi. Justice <laughs> This parliament could apply to changes the bill may on a side. So, my so much may be no card bill, a heritage bill, this is the teacher may make a or do three hair investment Fiji bill. So, finally, I'm a heritage bill. Kebaram Baskaringe or office for Kusawal the Wapkaringe or Kebaram investment bill for Baskaringe. So, your heritage bill here. इस इस बिल में नौ पार्ट्स हैं और एक-एक पार्ट है जैसे पहला बात में समझाया गया है कि बिल का खास मकसद क्या है, ऑब्जेक्टिव्स क्या है और इसमें छह ऑब्जेक्टिव्स हैं जो खास इस बिल से तालुक रखता है और पहला जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है ये ऑब्जेक्टिव है कि अगर अगर हम कोई एक ऐसा जगह 
जो हमारा संस्कृत से तालिक है या कल्चर से तालिक है ट्रेडिशन हिस्ट्री या फिजिकल इम्पोर्टेंस है जिसको हम दुनिया के समझ प्रमोट कर सकते हैं तो उसका देखभाल कैसे किया जाएगा तो अभी जैसे डिप्टी चेयर ने कहा कि हमारे बिल के अनुसार एक ही ऐसा साइट है जो हमारे ओल्ड हेरिटेज लिस्टिंग पर है वो है लेबू का सहार जो हमारा ओल्ड कैपिटल था और उसको लेकर हम बहुत कुछ कार्रवाई करते हैं जिससे कि लेबुका को प्रमोट करा जाए दुनिया भर में तो जैसे टूरिस्ट लोग आए और यहाँ से लोकल टीम जाए और वहाँ के देखभाल वहाँ का जो कमिटी है उसको अच्छी तरह से करें तो इसके अलावा और कुछ कुछ भी हमारे साइट से जैसे सिंगर टोका में सिंगर टोका सेंड न्यूज और दूसरी जो हिंदू आयलैंड है जहाँ एक स्पेशल एक माना निवास करते हैं और चौथा साइट जो है वो एक फॉरेस्ट है नाइटिसरी और नमोसी के बीच में तो भी बेसिक तो ये चार साइट हमारे लिस्टिंग पर है लेकिन एक ही साइट और लिस्टिंग पर है तीन तीन साइट है जिसको आगे चलकर हम और लिस्टिंग पर कर सकते हैं इसके अलावा कमिटी जगह जगह भी जा रही है और देख रही है और कितने साइट को हम अपने हेरिटेज लिस्टिंग पर कर सकते हैं तो यहाँ आने से पहले हमको मालूम था कि लंबा समय बनवा ले में एक दो ऐसे खास जो हमारे हेरिटेज लिस्टिंग पर आ सकता है जैसे कि कल रात को हम मंगीली नाग मंदिर पर गए थे वो एक खास मंदिर है हमारे धर्म के अनुसार वहाँ कमेटी से बातचीत की गई और फिर आज यहाँ आने से पहले हम आपका जो फ्लोटिंग आइलैंड है वहाँ गए थे और उसको भी देख देखे कि बहुत यूनिक सा जगह है आइलैंड है और उसका देखभाल कैसे किया जा सकता है इम्प्रूवमेंट है कि उसको हम लिस्टिंग कर सकते हैं तो हमारा खास ऑब्जेक्टिव है और इसके बिल के अनुसार ये सब साइट्स का देखभाल एक नेशनल काउंसिल करेगा फिफ्टीन मेंबर काउंसिल और इसमें कई विभाग के क्रिमिनल सेक्रेटरी और खास लोग रहेंगे उनका डायरेक्टर आज हम समझ में है जो एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री का हेरिटेज विभाग का डायरेक्टर है और कुछ हमको समझाएंगे कि साइट्स के लिस्टिंग पर आने से क्या क्या हमें फायदा होगा और क्या क्या चैलेंजेस रहेगा तो ये बहुत अच्छी खबर है कि आज हम लंगा लंगा में इस बिल को लेकर आए हैं आपके समझ रखने के लिए और इस बिल में यह भी बताया गया कि कोई भी साइट का जब देखभाल किया जाता है तो उसके लिए कमेटी होना चाहिए उसके लिए पैसा होना चाहिए और एक सिस्टम होना चाहिए उसको मैनेज करने के लिए तो इस बिल में सब समझाया गया है कैसे कैसे वो सब इस्टेब्लिश किया जाएगा और फिर अगर कोई प्लेन हम बनाते हैं इसका सुधार करने के लिए तो प्लेन को कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट किया जाएगा क्या देखभाल करेगा क्या अप्रूवल होना है किस विभाग से कैसे करेगी तो डिटेल्स में उसके बारे में सब कुछ समझाया गया है तो बिल का ऑब्जेक्टिव हुआ है काउंसल है और ये बिल में और समझाया गया कि अगर कोई जगह या कल्चरल प्लेस को आप लिस्टिंग करना चाहते हैं तो क्या प्रोसेस है कैसे कमेटी बनाना चाहिए कैसे एप्लीकेशन करना चाहिए एक काउंसिल के पास वो कैसे आकर देखेंगे और कैसे अप्रूव करेंगे तो ये सब इसमें अच्छी तरह समझाया गया तो बहुत आपके समय न लेने से हम आपसे आग्रह करेंगे कि आप सवाल जवाब कर सकते हैं और जैसे जैसे आप सवाल जवाब करेंगे हम आपको और डिटेल में समझाएंगे और आप कोई भी सवाल कर सकते हैं जिसका जवाब हम देंगे और आप कोई सजेशन भी रख सकते हैं जिसको कमेटी लेगी और फिर इस पर डिलीवरेट करेगी और अपने रिपोर्ट में शामिल करेगी तो बहुत धन्यवाद
Thank you, uh, Angol Sharma, and thank you for Dr. Govind for taking us through the bill. Now I'd actually give uh, some time to Angol Bulitabu if he can actually elaborate on the bill in Ethiopia language as well. Thank you. Nabalim, Committee of Manapalmi, Standing Committee of Justice for Human Rights. Dari tadi lagi kulit di Palmi, saya orang nak bulau, bulau, nak kulit di kulit ko, ni soli bata ambang indon kira nak koko, ni kira nak bulau lah, lepas mati tu dah. Jadi nak tu nak mati tu, nak mati tu, nak tu di tempat nak bulau, nak Palmi di nalau, merau di mai, di tu koto aku, di mai rumah di indon, nak kira lebih di bulau, nak rumah di nanti mungkin yang lebih. Nak aku kau kimi kita bikin. Boleh na tanah tu na public consultis. Kena balik balik itu na mai tanah tak na na tahu na law bawa turun bo sambil. Kata itu lagi nak kata begitu mikla na nak mengirai. Nak mengiruan law bawa turun kita buat kemai. Itu law tak cuma mana tempat ni heritage. Mai na ministry ni tempat ni tu. Tiba na director heritage kita tu na mai ni silis. Kurtu salam mereka cuma yang boleh beli lembu. Itu adalah heritage bill. Kena kerana investment bill. Nah heritage bill lah. Itu nak beli alat itu yang berapa? Nah tempat yang UNESCO. Wakati nak kena sa, kena lese kita boleh beli. Kena kena sa mai sa ngai me. Kau amat itu tutak. Beli. Kalau lili buku buruk buruk orang orang tu lepas ini tak mungkin tu lepas kalau bimbo sih lili buruk buruk kalau lili buku nampak mungkin tu bimbo mati tu tak merah mata tak kita nampak pun masih dah tanah domestik. Pemai kita bidan waktu kita kena sangai memang bimbo muri kiri bimbo kana kah kita lepas bumbu lita kah kita kena sentuh kita bela lagi buruk. Nena heritage bill tu mungkin nai sana kah sangai me me kita maru nai kita cukup tuh kah bawa tabu sana bawa sangai me maru. Itu aku nak soal na itu tu, kerana yang aku beranak dalam bayi muri, tu buli bilas tu kita nak kambilet. Dua na benua sa buli tu kawah heritage, itu na benua sa koroma kau tu, nanda tahu di melibuka. Itu pat ni vale satu sana mana 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 ya, tahu tarakina. Kalau bil kotor dia nak kena lawa, nak kena sanga mera nabi sulta, nak semperoya sanga nabi sulta. Yang mana itu nak buli, nak kena guna salib bandoni. Kita nak bawa malalat yang nak direct dan hati sena. Nego ni salam yang buli. Nak kena sengai memaru roy ketukir nai tu tu besok. Bayam bula, beli tiran nonton bayam bula. Kebawa terangkin dan nak kena kawal bagi cuma tinggo, sena lawa tinggo. Nak kena mai sengai mena. Dua kira nak kena nama tempoh silap, sena kena count. Kau esem memerani dua nai tapi lebu ni count sena kau saya kau nana nana baru tutup tak. Kena mata tempoh si. Biar jenis buruk buruk, nanti tu ramu nama merah jenis tamu. Merawa ni rengah, mana salah telah kan orang ngan dia mungkin nasar benua, kerbau telah ngaki na, nak kena tangkap lagi tu, kemaru itu kerana nak kena dayu orang tu. Kalau nanti nak nonton benua binti, nak gay mai soli pertanya nanti kawan bincang tu lah. Nanti kawan mati tu tengah mai, sengai tu. Total cuma na bisau, ni kau nak mati kerbau bintang tu tengah tu, yang telah ngan dengan maru tu. Nasi orang itu itu makan apa? Makan dah kelir kena dia penda, dia nak tahu mana. Itu list tu mai yang tua tampan na na noa, ok lah kita lihat itu tuan na wokai, ini tuan. Ini ok apa noa? Itu ok yang aku nak maru lagi. Itu ok yang tuan perlu satu ok yang national trust. Kalau tuan sah sah itu mereka nak kita tampan lagi. Ini heritage. Mereka nak sangai juga bila nak noa. Ibu nak apa? Pasti tak ikut apa lima di dalam bawah tu ribu. Saya nak kerana lawu ini tali biru tali, nak buat mana? Kalau awak tu, baca nak baca, nak buat bau tak? Saya nak dekat itu buat mana? Itu mai orang tengah ni, nak tu, nak buat mana? Tapi nak buat tinggalan, saya nak buat kengkele, saya nak buat di selipos. Itu reda tu kalau kita nak buat mana? Rawat ni, buru buru ni lah. Rawat tengah ni, nanti kita mai nak baca terus 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 baca nak tu, entah entah pun perlu. Ya, na, kita nak kena tinggal bimbi ni kami boleh tanah heritage bill, betul kita nak kena sengai ni juga bawa mati itu bawa apa ni bola bola. Jadi kita nak kena entrap, jadi kita nak kena sengai ni bawa lawat tinggal bimbi na, ni ada di Maruru, tu punya bawa lawat ni kena sana kaya, kena kaya kita bawa. Jadi kerana investment bill, investment bill, 
Thank you, Honorable Itabu, for taking us through the bills in Ethiopian language. Um, I believe, as you all must have heard, actually, uh, that we have two bills before us one is heritage and the other one is investment Fiji. Uh, just in a very nutshell, the investment uh, Fiji bill is basically setting up the secretariat for the investment bill. Um, their main purpose would be to actually um, promote Fiji as an investment site and investment place to the foreign investors because uh, everybody understands that uh, in order for the country to develop into a developed nation or a first class nation, it's very important that we have a lot of developments taking place and for this to happen we need foreign investments to actually come to Fiji. So when we are actually trying to attract the foreign investors to come into Fiji, it's very important for us to actually ensure that we have a platform set for them, that they don't have to go around uh, obtaining all the relevant uh, approvals and certificates that they actually need. For example, for a foreign investor, they need a foreign investor certificate uh, to actually prove that he is actually going to invest in Fiji the capital that he's going to actually invest in Fiji, then he needs to actually have permission, like for example, acquisition of land. Uh, he has to go to TLTB, he has to register his company, he needs to register with FRCS. Right? For example, if he's doing a development, there might be a, a request for EIE, that would be an environmental impact assessment, and then there's TMA as well, traffic management assessment as well. So all these things are required before an investor can actually start um, with his work in Fiji and also for anyone who is actually a local who is actually willing to invest over here so it's very important for them to actually ensure uh, the secretariat that, that would be investment Fiji to facilitate this to facilitate the process make it easy and uh, make it a very conducive environment for everyone uh, to actually do business in Fiji so that is basically the gist of the investment bill. The second bill that is before us is the heritage bill. Uh, basically heritage bill, what it actually states, there was a convention in 1972 under UNESCO that uh, there would be certain places uh, that can be listed under World Heritage Sites. These sites are very unique in nature, so we need to actually preserve them. There are a couple of them that are actually in PG at least three of them are the potential site and one of them is actually listed in World Heritage Site. The one that is actually listed in the World Heritage Site is uh, Lebuka Town 
as you all know, that is the first capital of Fiji. So we need to actually preserve the building and preserve it as it was back in 1970s and during colonial era. So in order for that to happen, it has been listed as a World Heritage Site. And uh, currently, uh, there is an organization known as uh, Fiji, uh, Fiji National Trust, which actually governs what actually happens to all the heritage sites. But with this bill actually coming uh, and being passed as an act, we will actually have a world uh, Fiji Heritage Council. So Fiji Heritage Council would be the one responsible to actually ensure uh, that uh, all these sites are maintained and managed. So that is what the, basically the bill is all about. And as I said, there are certain potential sites as well. So a couple of potential sites are uh, sand dunes. So we Basin and Yandua Tamba. Yandua Tamba is basically um, no, no, renowned for the iguana found over there. So we Basin is uh, a forest with a lot of species specific to that particular forest, which we are trying to actually preserve. And as we all know, sand dunes is also one of the potential heritage sites. So we thought actually to visit other potential sites that might be of very much of importance in uh, terms of heritage and how we actually need to preserve them. So there are a couple of sites uh, that are potential sites in Manmalebu as well. So one of them was actually uh, Nanjingi Nag Mandir where we visited and met the community yesterday and had a very fruitful discussion and uh, collected a submission. And today we actually visited the site known as uh, Floating Island in uh, Purupuru. So that is also one of the very uh, potential sites that can be actually listed as a heritage site. And you know, once actually a particular place is registered as a heritage site, then Tourism Fiji starts to promote that particular place as a tourist destination in other countries. And so we can actually, if we start promoting these kind of places, that means there will be an influx of tourists and the economy of that particular locality can actually increase. So this is why uh, this particular bill is also very important, uh, heritage bill. Uh, it also actually says about the formulation of the council, what will be the function of the council, what uh, the council will basically, uh, the functions, the principles, the meeting of the councils, and also they are supposed to keep a register that is going to be managed by Fiji Heritage Council as well. Uh, where all these list uh, potential sites and uh, the listed sites are going to be registered in that particular register. Uh, one thing very important is like for example if any site is supposed to be uh, listed as a World Heritage Site, there must be the owner's consent. For example, let's say for example uh, if we are talking about floating island. So people around this particular area if they actually think that they should actually have floating island as one of the heritage sites. So, let's say for example the Matangalis that actually own that particular piece of land where the floating island is, they need to actually put a request. At the moment they need to put the request to Fiji National Trust, but once this particular bill becomes an act, then they will actually put their request to Fiji Heritage Council. And then there is a process that is supposed to be followed, like for example any land that is actually um, given out for lease, there needs to be 60% consent of the landowners. Likewise for these potential sites as well. So 60% of the land owning unit, they need to actually agree to actually put that particular place as a potential or list it as a potential heritage site. And later on, it can be recognized as a, if listed as a world heritage site under UNESCO. So this is basically what the bill is all about. So we thought actually if we are actually visiting a and doing the site visitation for Floating Island, it's best, uh, in the, it is in the best interest for the community to give in their input as well about the heritage uh, bill. So now I'd like to actually open the floor. If you have any questions, queries, comments or submissions uh, that you'd like to actually put uh, before the committee with regards to this particular bill. Also be mindful uh, that uh, everything is spoken uh, over here this afternoon is recorded. Uh, under the Parliamentary uh, Privileges Act, everything is covered, so we actually record everything uh, and that is also translated into words, which is actually then deliberated by the committee once we are at a committee stage. So please be mindful of that. 
And uh, also uh, to note, if you want to actually speak in your vernacular, you can do so. We have translators over here who are actually going to translate it for. So thank you very much for coming this afternoon. And I now shall open the floor if you have any comments or queries with regards to these two bills. Thank you. Uh, whenever you are speaking, uh, it will be best uh, because we are being aired live to actually give your name, where you are from, and then please uh, direct the question. Thank you. My name is Anki Sibinaka, and I'm a resident of Malang, and I'm a Shukoti Kwama, and I'm a Justice of Peace, and I am the Matangali, the Maramani Matangali of the Fortinari. This is my plan, Mukawama. And today, I'm uh, very happy that I have that uh, the floating island that we have been visiting this afternoon. Thank you. One question. If I go to the Matangali and uh, have a uh, no section with Matangalo. And they agree that place were pleased. So which way <coughs> could take you people that the Matangali they agree for the land. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for that uh, wonderful question and it's good to see it we uh, yeah, the land owning units are over here to actually discuss on this particular um, place uh, known as the floating island. Um, I'll hand over to our director. He can actually give in the context and how we'll actually you can go about if 60% uh, of the Matangali actually agree to have it uh, listed as a potential bone heritage site. So, director, if you can actually explain to the members on the process itself. Thank you. Na the process cooked to Hondo Kerajigur in a Nakovena National Trust of Fitch. Natura a Bandoni Motona Turani Matagali, Madame Matagali, Nagotona, MLTP or TLTP. Okay, then I got a coach can man and get cover to na National Trust of Fitch. Or to Dona Tambana Vikitu, Warum Vikitu. Yo, Nagona sa na pasta kin and a billing wo, then become an act. As I'm singing, follow the key in our processor. So I'm directly given to the company. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Inesco. Se eu casar paz na Edmo, vou usar senão não vou ficar o coelho todo matangali. Se não passar na Edmo, eu chego no coelho todo matangali. Na same process é na vaca. E a na vaca o verto na na canção que vai mandar para chico che, que chico na ent, chico na não do coco, na matéria.
Uh, thank you uh, for those who actually didn't understand the ECOC language. I'll just request if director can also translate it in English for the better understanding of everyone. Thank you. Um, thank you, Chair. There is a process that needs to be followed when a heritage place becomes a tentative listing. When Lehuka first became the, before it became a World Heritage Site, it, uh, the government actually um, um, looking at this convention. This convention is called the World Heritage Convention. Let's, let me go back to the convention. There are seven conventions by UNESCO. Um, the long form of UNESCO is United Nations Scientific Education and Cultural uh, Organizations. They were ruling to, uh, to United Nations. So there are two conventions that Fiji has ratified. One of them is the World Heritage, which is 1972, and the other one is Intangible Cultural Heritage, which is 2003. So this uh, World Heritage, where Fiji rectified, was in 1990. So it took four years to have the other sites tentative. So it was given tentative list in 1994, which includes Lemuka, Town, Yandua Tamba, Sand Dunes, Sobe Basin, and uh, the other one that we're looking at uh, is Tabuni, uh, Tabuni Forest uh, Park uh, Reserve. That is another one. So after all that process, the government uh, set up the National Committee, which is now in the Act. The 2003 Cabinet established the Fiji um, Heritage Committee, World Heritage Committee, and they decide that Lebuka will become a World Heritage Site because of its significance in terms of history, early history. Lebuka town was in contact not only by the, by the British, but other, like the Germans and other, the, the, the French, the other European nations that were coming in contact to Lebuka. That's why, because of its significant history, it became the World Heritage Site. In 2013. So that, that that's a process that needs to be followed. So once this one becomes an act, this bill becomes an act, it's easier for us to, or from the community, to do a submission saying, for example, like what you said, Maramatau, that uh, floating island to become uh, a world heritage site or the national heritage site. Thank you. Thank you very much, Director, for that explanation. <coughs> Any other question? <coughs> See, another thing that uh, uh, we are actually going to do is with regards to the floating island, and this is something that we are speaking about uh, Nangini Nag Mandir as well. We are going to actually speak to Tourism Fiji to actually promote this particular place as a tourist destination. <coughs> but uh, one of the things that uh, is an issue uh, for the tourists to actually come to this particular space, whether we have actually accommodation to accommodate them in Madhuata. That's one of the biggest issues. And that is so why we are saying that the bill that we are actually bringing in Investment Fiji is very important. Because all these heritage sites, they are supposed to be promoted uh, by uh, Tourism Fiji as one of the tourist, uh, tourist destinations. And then we actually need investors to come in to invest uh, in Madwata to actually come up with hotels and resorts. Whereby these tourists, they can be um, attracted to us to come and stay and these are some of the places that they can actually visit. There are a lot of sites in Banwalebu which are still untapped. Uh, that can be a very good uh, tourist destination. So, till we actually come to a stage that, uh, let's say, Floating Island is registered as the World Heritage Site, we can always actually promote this particular place as a tourist destination. But uh, even in the order for that to actually happen, we need to actually have history so Tourism PD can actually come and get a bit of background information all right, from what time it was there, what are some of the uh, linkages with the particular floating island, what are some of the myths and legends um, attached with the particular island, all those things. 
because history needs to be captured. If we want to actually promote a particular site as a tourist destination, we need to actually uh, tell the history in a very good manner so that it attracts tourists to actually come and visit that particular site. So that is one of the things that we can actually do uh, with regards to the floating island that we can actually get it promoted, uh, promoted in uh, other places in the world as a tourist destination. Uh, thank you uh, very much. Eh? On behalf of uh, the people of uh, Nandu, I would like to first of all thank uh, the standing uh, committee for coming uh, down to this uh, rural community. I know Langalanga is uh, very far, 55 kilometers away from Lombasa, and this is the first time the opportunity has given uh, to our people to contribute something as far as uh, the bill is concerned. And it's a great day for us that uh, we have been uh, considered to contribute on the two important bills, that is uh, heritage and uh, the other one uh, is uh, admit, uh, investment bill. Uh, uh, as far as the heritage bill is uh, concerned, I would like to say that uh, these uh, areas should have been considered a long uh, time before. Since if you look at uh, this, uh, when, uh, when I talk about floating island, I think uh, not only in the northern division, but in Fiji, a place uh, in uh, Kurukuru, there's uh, an island that is floating. There is only one island that is floating. That is uh, not uh, floating, I could that the movement is there for the island. That is the only island that uh, moves around. So this is a good time for the people to contribute. And uh, I have got uh, two questions uh, with me. The number one, uh, if uh, a place gets listed as an uh, old heritage, does it uh, restrict land owners from making any changes to their place? Example, land. That is, the land owners have to get permission from more authorities in order to do anything on their property. That is uh, number one question. And the second question that I have uh, with me, is uh, why are the penalties so high in the proposed law for heritage bill? These are two questions that I have uh, and I would like to put forward uh, to our standing committee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much sir, for that particular question. I'll try to actually answer the second one first, uh, especially with regards to why penalties are so high. Uh, this is something that was actually raised to us um, in Lebuka as well, that if somebody is trying to actually modify or somebody is trying to actually change a particular heritage site, um, why it is actually important to have a deterrent factor such as high fine for, net, uh, for them not to do so. So let's say, for example, it take, uh, as director has explained, it's not an easy task. It's not an easy task to actually get a particular site registered as a world heritage site. So let's say, for example, in Lebuka, those buildings, right, you need to actually maintain the outside structure as it is, right, so that the preservation of that particular site is there. You need to preserve everything. So you cannot actually just come up and do a maintenance to actually change or do a development that might actually change uh, the intent of actually having that particular site as a heritage site. The other thing very important is like for example some of the contractors that might, they might not be qualified enough right, to actually carry out maintenance and preservation of those particular buildings. Right. So we actually need to have a deterrent factor because last thing we want is a particular, let's say a company coming in to maintain a particular building and then we find out that they were not actually the expert in actually maintaining and preserving that particular building and they have actually destroyed the building. So for in order for these kind of things to uh, not to happen in future and actually destroy our heritage site, we need to have higher penalties. So that would be a deterrent factor to all those bogus construction companies that actually might actually come to the owners of the building just to actually say that uh, um, we can actually maintain and preserve this particular building. 
because they know that the fine is quite hefty, right? So they will actually not get indulged in this kind of uh, behavior. So that is a particular reason as to why we need actually a good deterrent factor to actually ensure that uh, these kind of things are preserved that are actually registered in the uh, World Heritage Site. As far as the owners are concerned, there is a massive consultation that takes place. Right? So before a particular site is listed as a potential heritage site, all the pros and cons are actually explained to the particular building owner and in this case coming to your first question right to the land owning units as well like for example um, we are trying to actually preserve the species that are actually found in Sobi Basin so last thing we want is somebody to go in and start actually logging in that particular area because as soon as we start to log out from the particular area logging starts you are basically destroying the natural environment that is actually preserved in that particular area. <coughs> so before actually you put in it as a potential heritage site, right, our Department for Heritage, <coughs> our National uh, Trust, our Fiji Heritage Council, they would actually come and uh, consult the owners of the buildings or the land owning unit if a particular space is supposed to be uh, listed they will actually tell them what you can do, what you can't do, what you cannot do in future as well. Right, for example, logging, if you actually, in Sobi Basin, logging won't be allowed. Because that particular forest is preserved, we need to preserve the forest. Right, and we cannot actually start cutting down the trees. And on the other side, we are saying that we are trying to preserve the forest. Hmm. So they won't be able to make any amendment, but uh, like for example, if they want to, let's say for example, uh, let's use example of uh, uh, floating islands. Let's say in near future, if we actually do get floating islands listed as a potential site, but then in future, okay, tourists they start coming in because we start to actually promote this particular site. Now we need shelter and those kind of things to be built over there, right? So they actually need to go through a process of applying, right, through town planning, planning through Fiji uh, Heritage Council. Once an approval is given, then they can actually go with it. Because, like for example, if any site we are doing anything, we might actually need an environmental impact assessment as well. Because how that particular development is going to have an impact on the heritage site is another thing. So we need to follow the process. It's not that they won't be totally allowed to do anything, but they actually have to follow the process whereby authorities and experts, they will actually come and assess and grant an approval for them to actually carry out if they want to actually develop that particular place or if they want to develop anything in that particular area. So that is basically the process. Hope that clarifies. Director, anything else? Okay. Just to add on, um, like what Chair said, there is a process that needs to be followed. It's not a one-way street where we come in and said, okay, let's, because we, you will be, during the consultation, this is, will be explained to you, because the requirement of the World Heritage Convention um, signifies the management of the place, which includes the landowners and whoever uh, will manage the place. So you cannot say, okay, it will become a world listing as World Heritage Site, and then one day you decided to change everything. Because that will be delisted totally. So, you know, like the uh, chair was saying, when you get tourists, where are they going to stay? All those will be done on a feasibility study. And it's a collaboration between the, the World Health Council, which includes the department and the National Trust, and also we'll get somebody from the Fiji Museum to look at all those. So, looking to add on to tourism, okay, where when tourists, because the distance is a bit, you know, away from uh, Lombasa Town. So where they are going to stay if they want to stay the night? All those things will be taken in consideration. And of course, the owners of the place will be looking to. Thank you, sir. Any other question? Please feel free to ask anything. You can either ask in Ethiopia or you can ask in Hindi as well. We have translators over here. We can translate for you.
I do understand it's really getting hot in here. So if any more questions, don't feel shy. You won't come biting. <laughs> we will respond to the questions. <laughs> Thank you for that comment. Yes, sir. Nimble, man. Nimble, sir. Don't want to get it. No, we're not going to get it. No, we're not going to get it. Nasang, 
Rani, nak kaiti bunga bunga tu nak kolak RR, bunga satu kolak tu eh, nak kuna nak kuali kita benda tu nak tambah ni trust, kena esatio nak kaum sama benda sama lah, mereka lawan sama tu tu, serta mereka tiba, yang nombor tu tiba lumen pen, mereka nak visibility tadi, bawa bawa malah tadi tu eh, nabi atau tu amiti unim beri tu nabi bawa terus data, ya sana nanti mek ya nasar panua, ya nak kuna tambah nombor tu ambur lagi, nanti mana isya mana mata kai, nanti apa korai nama tak kai, elisi tadi, boleh elisi. Akor bayi dia nalis. Wangga boh internalis si boleh ati yang nabi pon warai. Nada boh suci na itu betul. Mereka ni rasa. Mereka apa sih? Di unin tua. Eva lekai si unin tua. Elusi. Nabi atau doa. Karena nabi pon doa nanti tambah nanti tambah lagi ni rea marui. Waktu itu nanti tambah ni lain makan. Ia nak koko ni anak soil nanti kami betul lain makan. Nasi ati yang nampak sangat bulan pasien. Betul nasi ini. Nabi pon tu ni sangat konsen. Mereka ni kaisual lah kuno rai, kuno nak proses rai. Santun, baleta, itu anak alih bu, atau buta tim atau direkta. Mungkin ada sah guru ini misalnya enlist. Ah, mungkin itu lah minta ni, itu ngaji kita nak mata wasin itu nak alih. Untuk tu satu rau, itu sampo yuk tu sali, boh atau nali sini aina. Itu santi lagi semua atau nasi alih bu rai. Entah sana tu rai 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 rai, nasi kuno rai rai. Rai soalnya ah, minta nak kuli dia nabi entah nanti tu elah. Nanti tu nabi betul betul tak. Wah bimbi sahaja untuk wasi kita bantu tu, bantu tu. Nek ena, ah tumbuh pulang juga entah nasib ni. Nek ena sengai entah nak kai terani tai. Nek ena maroi, ena manin dia tak. Merah dia ngabe entah na, na untuk mai mur. Di unito ania tau tau ngadi uo. Di mata sama kan mata lah entah. Nyerai soal pun entah pernah tak bawa betul. Di entah nak nasalib. Di bila di muto na tua na nanti na. Baleta merah di entah nak nasalib. Balik leh dia tu ya. Nak barang rotin untuk sana. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? I believe that's it. Uh, we don't have any further questions. <coughs> so, yes, ma'am. We agree this uh, bill for the hedges to be passed. Thank you very much for that. Highly appreciate it. Okay, so now I'll give the time to Honorable Bulitabu to thank everyone who have actually uh, made themselves available this uh, afternoon to be present here, to be here and give their views with regards to the heritage bill and investment feasibility. Thank you. I'd like to throw you, Honorable Chair, and on behalf of the uh, Standing Committee on Justice and Human Rights and the Honorable Chairperson and the Honorable Members, and on behalf of the uh, Parliament of Fiji, the Honorable Speaker and Secretary General of Parliament and the staff uh, that are here with us, on behalf of the uh, Director Heritage and the staff too that are part of this delegation, uh, on the uh, public consultation on the Heritage Bill and Investment Bill. We'd like to thank you. First, I thank the uh, school uh, teacher plus the school committee and also the community here, and also the Matangali and uh, also those community workers around here. I can see the multicultural community here in Langlala and also the, your parliament is so thankful that you've come in numbers today uh, to give your views on something that is very important and what and, and third row part of law meeting and that is the voice of the people for us to hear you so what's your interest should be represented in the law you voted us in parliament so we in parliament it's a people's house so uh, we have our duty too that we are accountable to you people and when we make laws we make laws from the mandate of what uh, uh, through this public consultation and uh, again in future we are looking forward to come around to long run and also other things that probably will be of interest to the community here. Uh, thank you for your time, for coming and probably walking the long distance. Uh, uh, school, children, you're returning home, and also everything that you've been going through. Uh, we wish you all the best and God bless you. Thank you.